What's the crack lads? Welcome to the channel and welcome to our first V2.4 video. Right, so this is just going to be an image in the background and me just having a little bit of a chat and a little bit of my thoughts on stuff, right? So I'm not going to have any distractions. It's literally just going to be me speaking um, with the information in the background, right? So we got a bit of a roadmap update today. V2.4 is out in the wild. Look, people are going to be upset, people are going to be pissed off, people are going to be happy. Some people are going to be indifferent. Some people have moved on, some people are only fine in Pez now, only fine in eFootball now. Whatever way you want to associate the franchise where it is at the moment, right? We got this roadmap which talks about, thank you for playing eFootball. 23, we receive feedback and requests from our esteemed users on a daily basis. We strive to create and provide the best gameplay experience possible by addressing the feedback in version updates. On that note, please allow us to introduce some of the new features we are planning to implement in future updates. Right. So here's where it kicks off. So originally, when we had the game and the roadmap, and obviously when things were planned, when they released the beta or the beta, um, they obviously had a roadmap. Now that has changed, right? We've seen this happen in various different games throughout the year. It's not just a Konami thing. It's not just an eFootball thing. There's been delays to games. There's been, you know, cancellations. There's been pushbacks. There's been different release windows. But I think the biggest frustration with people um, or from people with, that are a specific kind of like fan of the game, right? Those that are not into Dream Team and not into playing online. Like, literally, it's not got to do with a competitiveness. It's not got to do with, like, not being good at the game. It's just that you just... Some people do not play online. You know what I mean? Like, they buy Call of Duty. They'll play the campaign. They won't play Warzone. They'll buy, you know, God of War. They'll buy Horizon. They'll buy The Last of Us. They'll buy Skyrim and play 200 hours of that. There are a lot of offline gamers out there. And these gamers, realistically in 2023, do not have an, a, a football game to play, right? They don't, because everything that you play in FIFA is kind of tied back into the online. Obviously, if you play a career mode, um, that's there, but it's not really pushed to the forefront. And then obviously with Pez, going back through the years, Pez was always, you know, striving for that lovely balance between gameplay, not making it too complicated that you didn't need to spend ages like Football Manager-esque, um, you know, like, like, kind of like, control in every aspect of your team but that they stripped away a lot of the features as the year when the years went on to make it more streamlined for more casual players to come in but you could still build your squad over 15 seasons in master league if you wanted to yes it's been bare bones but you could still edit your squad every year you could edit your team kits you could go into edit mode and make changes to your players hairstyle and all this stuff if they didn't have a real face and you know and on and on right so with this new roadmap, right, and I don't want to go on a massive rant on this, or I don't want to go on a massive length video on this, right, they have talked about a new schedule, right, so they scheduled for spring 2023, now I talked about this for anyone that wanted to listen way back when, with the last two updates, right, I know you guys that watch me on YouTube, you're just amazing, like you're a brilliant, brilliant fan base, obviously you interact with me so well, you're so clued into everything going on, and I know that you guys are able to think for yourselves as well, right, but there is still some people, whether they're newcomers coming across or they hear a rumor or they see a leak or they see something clickbaity, people looking for views, likes, oh, edit mode is coming in V2.3.2, edit mode is coming in V2.4, right? When they are announcing this schedule here, they talk about spring 2023, right? Which means that spring 2023 is not going to probably kick off in the window until March March, April, May is probably going to be spring. And then you're into the summer months, right? You could even extend that out to June if you realistically think about it, depending on how the seasons fall and depending on the actual definition of the seasons, right? I've talked about all this before. People criticized and they were like, oh, you know, you're making a video about seasons. People don't know the seasons. It's not that people don't know the seasons. It's, it's that in development, things can change very, very quickly, right? There is no mention of edit mode here with a roadmap, right? We get spring 2023, additional player slots in my team, so that's obviously going to be, you know, that you can have more players in your squad, very self-explanatory. There's a new feature for users to add player skills to existing players. I talked about this in my last video of things I wanted to see. I did feed that back very, very extensively as long, um, as well as with other stuff, obviously. There's some stuff that I can, you know, delve into in a lot of detail and get into with you guys. But there's also some stuff that as a content creator, um, you know, you have to you have to kind of 
if I hear something, I'm not going to splash it up for likes and views. You know what I mean? I'm not about that kind of clickbait stuff. I just want to give it to you honestly and talk and give you my honest 100% transparent views on everything that I'm you know, able to talk about, right? That's why I knew that Master League and Edit Mode and stuff weren't going to be coming for a while. And I said as much you know, to anybody that wanted to listen, right? Additional items for player contract renewal and ways to obtain them. That's going to be a big one because as you transition into eFootball 2024, we're going to have to make a decision as to what players we want to carry forward. Now, I envision something happening, right? And I've said this before. I envision something happening, which makes sense with the model they've gone for, is that if I have Romario that I signed one year ago, and his contract is up, and I have zero contracts left, right? Say I have Vieira and Cassius and Roberto Carlos, right? And Romario. I've got four players, but I've only got three contracts, okay? There has to be some sort of way of me being able to renew them and continue to play them with my squad, but also Konami are not going to want it that I can just continue to play every single mode or every single asset of the game, aspect of the game, um, without contracts because they've made that into their ecosystem. So I reckon what they'll do is they'll probably make the contract renewals very, very, very uh, inexpensive for the time being, but they'll probably be limited. You know, they might have a 30 day or a 60 day one as we've seen now, but they'll be limited to what you can do. But I think, look, that's something that we're going to have to see. Personally, for me, who likes playing with a lot of different players, like, would I like to see my squad carry forward? I'd like to have a new challenge. I sp spoke about this in a previous video as well, if you haven't checked it out or in a later video today, and I'll be speaking about it in the live stream as well, right? You have to have something there for the end game and the middle game. And the end game doesn't need to come two months after launch, right? I'm going to get into that in the live stream I do today. We also get a schedule for summer 2023, a new feature for users to reset progression points. Again, that is music to my ears, but how does it link in with players? So why would we be resetting players' progression points if we can't then use those players because they're out of contract? So there's a lot of questions still remaining with this one, a lot of questions. Additional number of substitutes for Dream Team, that's only something small, not even going to focus too much on that. Now, apart from the uh, dimension features, aforementioned features, we are also planning to add the following features in the future. We'll be providing further information in due course. I'm going to try to get more information, lads, out of this, because as you guys all probably know, Edit Mode and Master League are massive to me. Um, like, Edit Mode is, is, is pr practically something I have done. I've been editing for... I mean, 12, 13 years, realistically, if not more. Co-op mode is also massive as well. They talk about cross-platform. They talk about mobile controller compatibility. There is a lot here, but it goes back to my first mentioned point, right? If you are a football fan in 2023 and you want an offline experience, you can't have one here with eFootball 2023, right? There's only so many exhibition matches that you can play. Yes, they've added friend match. And listen, I'm going to like put my hands up and say you know, or give them my plaudits and say, yeah, look, anything that they add is a bonus, right? Anything that they add needs to be applauded. But you can also criticize and you can also have constructive criticism and say, listen, this isn't good enough at this stage in the life cycle of the game. We're a year in, we're two years in, we're three years in, whatever it is, whatever happens. You can be critical and you can be constructive with your criticism without it being personal, without it being attacking, without it being offensive, and I think at the moment, like the fact that Master League and Co-op don't have an actual date, like a proper set in stone window, like it's like, right, Co-op is going to be coming in September 2023. And here's what's coming. Like it's going to be drop in, drop out. It's going to be like clans. You can invite a squad in, you can build a squad, you can, you know, promote a vice captain and a captain that they can make decisions on who takes the free kicks. And you can have this, we're bringing out an app that ties in with it. Like if there was an actual plan, I think people would be prepared to wait, right? We all waited for Avatar 2. I mean, if you saw that movie, we waited, what, 13 years for that? It, like, if things are coming down the line, that's fine, once there's a clear plan. But I just think at the moment, if Master League gets pushed any further than September, October 2023, I think it's going to be a big, big talking point. Like, I mean a massive talking point. Edit Mode and Master League are the foundation of what pe made Pez great, this is not Pez, and I understand that more than, you know, the same as the rest of you guys, right? This is not Pez anymore. It's a brand new franchise. It's a brand new everything, right? Yes, there is breadcrumbs. Yes, there is a lot of legacy stuff brought over from Pez to eFootball. I'm not going to say that, that that's not true. But I think Master League and Co-op are definitely with edit mode. Those three modes are just massive, like massive. I know Dream Team has proven to be a huge success. I'm going to get into that in the live stream as well. 
Dream Team's success has really been detrimental to the rest of the modes because it's probably meant that they focused on that sort of stuff. It's similar to Warzone now with Call of Duty, man. I see a lot of people complaining about Warzone's multiplayer and the campaigns and stuff. You know, even though the campaigns are well regarded, there's no extra DLC for offline fans or there's, you know, you have to kind of get into the ecosystem of playing what they want you to play. So look, for me, it is a bit of a rant. We will be getting into it in the live stream later. But anyway, we will talk about this at a later date. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But let me know your comments because I will be streaming today around 2 to 3, maybe 3 p.m. my time, if not earlier. I am off work today and tomorrow, so I will be streaming today and tomorrow. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts on that. It's just a bit of a chat and a bit of a catch-up. We will get into it in further detail in the live stream later, and I'll talk to you in a bit.